Hello, welcome to another dynamic do-it-yourself diva video. And today for Tasty Finds with Taste Man Joe, we are going to try Korean roasted barley tea. <laughs> As you can see, this is from Trader Joe's. And <laughs> let's get on with this. First of all, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and a, a lot of other do-it-yourself videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we would truly appreciate that. Yes. We hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a tough one because I was all alone when I saw this and I said, Hmm. It sounds nasty. Let's try this. It sounds nasty. When I brought it home after my um, quarantine adventure. I couldn't believe she wanted this for a tasty find. I was like, <laughs> what? I thought you wanted something good. Something tasty. <laughs> Not this garbage. <laughs> and you know what? There's no hyperbole here. That is exactly what he said. So <laughs> let's get started. Um, first of all, Korean roasted barley tea, an aromic tea made with roasted barley grown in South Korea. Mm -hmm. I am very comforted knowing that it was grown in South Korea. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to read a little bit of what's on the side here. You know. um, also known as boricha. Trader Joe's Korean roasted barley tea is made from a variety of dark barley grown in the, I don't know, Jeolla province of South Korea with its mild nutty flavor. This naturally caffeine free tea is equally delightful served hot or iced. We're going to try it iced. Okay, it's summertime, so we want to enjoy ourselves. Hopefully. Ah, a warm drink is the best. Um, anyway, as I was saying here, um, it's a cozy companion come fall or winter and an invigorating refreshment through spring and summer. A simple staple of Korean culture and cuisine you can enjoy all year long. You know, as I read that, you know what that seems like? Hmm. This is called trying too hard. <laughs> They're trying too hard to sell this, but I'm being optimistic. This might actually be mine. Next favorite drink. <laughs> the struggle. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay, why is it I'm looking up at you? Because you're short. Oh my gosh. If you have been watching this channel for a while. You'll know that I've always been taller than her. You will notice that this one right here has been just shooting up. This is... Okay, now that's just movie magic. Okay, come on, let's go. So, you know, there we go. Oh, I shouldn't have given you so enough. much. I think that's enough. Okay, so first of all, let's give it the sniff test. <laughs> hey, look, oh, no. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. You it's not gar garbage. My gosh. Okay, look. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yes. All right, cheers. <laughs> First of all, before I tell you what I think from the taste of it, Before I give you, uh, before I give you um, my um, review for the taste, I'll say for the smell, it has a very, um, the only way I could describe it is organic. Now, some people might take that as a plus and some people might take that as a negative. When I mean organic, I mean use, I think I'm smelling the fields of South Korea. I'm smelling a barley field. 
It's not a fruity smell. What do you think about the smell? It smells terrible. It smells terrible. I can't stand it. Okay. If you want, it, it doesn't it doesn't taste bad. Okay, you it go first. Okay. On a scale of one to four, one meaning hard pass, four means you'll buy it again for your personal consumption. What would you give this? I'll give it a one. Okay, why? Because it's not sweet. But if you were to put sugar in there. Yeah, uh, I guess. I would just get aloe vera juice. Let's try it. Oh, let's. Yay. We're going to make this fair, okay? We're going to give it, okay, we tasted it straight. So let's give a review for it straight. Straight uh -huh. means? One. A one because? Because it's not that sweet. Okay. And it smells terrible. Okay. For me? I don't like sweetened tea. I like unsweetened tea. There's, you know, sweet tea. Sometimes it, it there's too on how much it sugar in it. It doesn't. I like the taste of tea, okay? Okay, I will give it a, um, from this, I'll give it a one. <laughs> I was trying hard, y'all. I was trying really hard. I will give it a one. Not because it doesn't taste bad, but my taste buds, it doesn't have a taste. Does that make sense? That doesn't sound good. I think you might need to get your taste buds checked out. Okay, in the we comments, have a, we have a knife don't, <laughs> don't comment on my, my knife spoon. Actually, this is used for kiwis, okay? All right, That's so... That's it looks so weird. Yeah, let's put a little bit of sugar in there. So, here, give me your... I'm going to give you just a little bit, as you can see. Not that much, all right? Full disclosure, I'm not a really big fan of sweet tea. So, that's already pushing this up to a solid one. But who knows? This sugar in here might actually make it taste better. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Oh, did you catch that? I was drinking it and I put my pinky up. I'm so fancy. No. It's called yeah. watching too many old TV shows. Megan Stallion might be savage, but I'm fancy. All right. Wow. Okay. Huh. While he's enjoying it, I'll go first. Now with the sugar in it, and mind you, full disclosure, I am not a fan of sweet tea. This is good. <laughs> Once I put a little bit of sweet in there, I I would definitely like, okay, I, I could get with this, okay? I Will I buy it for my personal consumption? I forget how much this costs. I think it was like about, I think it might be about a dollar. I don't know. I'll have to check on the website. I'll put, um, I'll put the cost down below. Um, but let's see. With the sugar in it, I won't give it a one now. I will give it, I'll give it a two. <laughs> Uh, and I'm telling you why, a two, okay? The sugar made it taste better. It bumped it up, it actually had a flavor. It's like the sugar seemed to meet with the barley flavor and it melded together and made it into an actual experience. Why I won't do it? Because I don't like adding sugar to drinks, okay? So that's where I give it a two. Two means it tastes a little bit better but I wouldn't personally buy it for my personal consumption. What do you say, Tank? I still give it a one. You still give it a one? Even with the sugar, really? Even with the sugar. <laughs> okay. It still didn't, it still didn't have much of a, it still didn't taste that good. I would not purchase this for myself at all. Okay, do you remember how much this was? Okay, I'm asking um, the hubby off camera here and he said he doesn't remember. Uh, but I do think this might have been maybe around $2, a little over a dollar, okay? And for that, you get how many ounces? 17.6 fluid ounces, okay? It's 1.1 pint. So, all right, so that's it. That's what we got. So, I gave it a 
on the baseline just by itself, I gave it a one, you gave it a one. Okay, and then adding sugar to it, I gave it a two, and he gave it a one. So, <laughs> I would say go check it out, try it. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, on that note, uh, we hope you're staying safe and we hope everything is fine and we'll talk to you later and um, someone off camera wants to try it himself. So, oh gosh, he's bringing this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. You see that Raiders that, cup, that was, right? That, that's the worst football team. Okay you, okay, you saw that Raiders cup, right? That Raiders cup. Now you see my shirt. Bolt, San Diego, well, not San Diego, sorry. Oh my gosh, LA Chargers. And then you see this hat. Can you imagine what this house is like during the football season? Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, anyway, on that note, until next time.